Welcome to the Data Structures and Algorithms tutorial by Edgemoon. Moon. We are going to learn about some basic terminologies regarding data structures and the notations that you will be following in the rest of the course. We will begin with some basic definitions. An algorithm is an outline of steps that a program or any computational procedure has to take. A program, on the other hand, is an implementation of an algorithm and it could be in any programming language. Data structure is a way we need to organize the data so that it can be used effectively by the program. Recursion It is a process in which function calls itself directly or indirectly and corresponding function is called a recursion function. Let us consider an example for recursion. Sum of n natural numbers In the first approach, we calculate sum of n natural numbers by adding 1 after 1. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus and so on. In the second approach, we calculate sum of n natural numbers using recursion method. So it is known as recursive addition. Here we have a function f of n equal to n plus f of n minus 1 for n greater than 1. f of n equal to 1 for n equal to 1 that is f of 1 equal to 1. There is a simple difference between the approach 1 and approach 2 and this is in approach 2 the function itself is being called inside the function. So the phenomena is named as recursion and the function containing recursion is also called as recursive function. Iteration versus recursion. A program is called recursive when there is a function it calls itself and a program is called iterative when there is a loop or repetition. Let us see an example of factorial program for both iteration and recursion. Now let us see what basically a factorial is. 5 factorial equal to 120. Let's give me a second. Yes, 5 factorial equal to 120. Written as 5 factorial equal to 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Again. It can also be written as 5 factorial equal to 5 into 4 factorial. Now let us see. <laughs> 4 factorial equal to 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 or else 4 factorial equal to 4 into 3 factorial. Again, 3 factorial equal to 3 into 2 factorial and 2 2 factorial equal to 2 into 1 factorial and we do all know 1 factorial equal to 1 1 factorial equal to 1 now let us see the code for iterate to and recursion methods let's clear the screen Yes, first we'll go with the recursive method. We'll create a function of integer type int fact recur and pass a parameter of n of integer type. Now we have base condition if n equals to 0. There is the given number equal to 0, we will return 1. Why? Because 0 factorial equals to 1. Then return n into fact recur of n minus 1. Let us see how this code works. 5 factorial equals to 120. Now n equals to 5 n is not equals to 0, 5 is not equals to 0, so it will return 5 into fact recur of n minus 1, that is 4. Again, the function fact recur is called with n equals to 4, so now 5 into 4 into fact recur of 4 minus 1, that is 3. Now 5 into 4 into 3 into fact recur of 3 minus 1, that is 2, into fact recur of 2 minus 1, that is 1 into fact recur of 0 
Now, fact trigger of 0. Let's see. Fact trigger of 0. So, n equal to 0. If n equal to 0, then return 1. It will return 1. So, what happens? That is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2. Sorry, into 2 into 1 into 1. That is equals to 0.20. This is the recursion method. Now, let us see iterative method. For iterative method, we should have a loop. So let us create a function first in fact it passing an integer of n that is a number. Sorry, sorry, then we will declare integer variables result equal to one comma i and we will run loop for i equal to 2 i less than or equal to i less than n less than or equal to n i plus plus that is res equal to result into i or else result into equals to i now let us take 5 factorial 5 factorial equals to 120 that is n equal to 5 now result equals to 1 i equals to 2 the loop, loop runs from 2 result equals to result into i sorry into i now that is equals to 1 equals to now result equals to result equals to 1 into 2 that is equals to 2 now i equals to 3 that is i, inc I is incremented now again result equals to r is equals to now result is 2 into i is 3 that is 6 now again i is incremented now i equals to 4 now result equals to oh, result that is equals to 6 into 4 that is equals to 24 now again i equal is incremented to 5 then result equals to 24 into 5 that is equals to 120 now i is incremented to 6 now the case fails i is less than or equals to n the case fails so i equals to so a 5 factorial equals to 120 so now let us go back to our slides so this is the recursion program code and this is the iteration code or logic now next one iteration versus recursion you can go to the differences in the document given below 